And then, of course, uh, Mars, um, becoming a multi-planet species. Who's the hell of, out of being a single-planet species? So, um, yeah, so we'd start off by sending a mission to, to Mars, where it would be obviously just landing on rocky ground or dusty ground. Um, and it's, it's the same approach that I mentioned before, which is you send the spaceship up to orbit, you retank it or refill it until it has full tanks, um, and um, it travels to Mars, lands on Mars. Um, for Mars, you will need local propellant production. But Mars has a CO2 atmosphere and plenty of water ice. That gives you CO2 and H2O, so you've got, you can make, therefore, CH4 and O2. Um, using the Sabatier process and, or some, you know, probably the Sabatier process. And um, I should mention that long term, this can also be done on Earth. So sometimes I get some sort of um, criticism for why, why are you using combustion in rockets and you have electric cars? I'm like, well, there isn't some way to make an electric rocket. I wish there was. Um, but um, in the long term, you can use solar power to, to extract CO2 from the atmosphere, combine it with water, and produce uh, uh, fuel and oxygen for the rocket. So the same thing that we would do on Mars, uh, we could do on Earth uh, in the long term. Uh, but that, that's essentially what happens. Similar to, to, to the moon, you land, land on, on Mars. But the tricky thing with Mars is you, we do need to build a propellant depot uh, to uh, refill the tanks and return to Earth. Um, but because Mars has uh, lower gravity than Earth, you, can, you do not need a booster. So you can go all the way from the surface of Mars to the surface of Earth just using the ship. Um, albeit, you need to go for, to, to a max payload number of about 20 to, 20 to 50 tons um, for the return journey to work. But it's a single stage, a single stage all the way back to Earth. Um, and I'll show you the... the this, so this is the, the true physics simulation. Um, This will last about a, a minute. Um, so you come in, you're entering very quickly, going seven and a half kilometers a second. Um, for Mars, there will be some ablation of the heat shield. So it's just like a sort of brake pad wearing away. Um, it, it is a multi-use heat shield, but unlike for Earth operations, um, it's coming in um, hot enough that you really do, you will see some wear of the heat shield. But because Mars has an atmosphere, albeit not a particularly dense one, you can remove almost all the energy uh, aerodynamically. Uh, and we've proven out supersonic retropropulsion many times with, uh, with Falcon 9, so we feel very comfortable about that. Um, the, the, this is a, because it's sort of, um, you can see it's sort of a, a, a mesh system. It's not, it's not meant to be sort of particularly pretty because it's just trying to simulate the physics of it. Uh, but the, the size of the cone gives you a rough approximation for how much thrust the engines are producing. That's not a typo. <laughs> Although it is aspirational. Um, so, we've, we've already started building the system. Um, the tooling uh, for the main tanks is, has been ordered. Uh, the facility is being built. We will start construction of the first ship um, around the second quarter of next year, so in about six to nine months. We should just start building the first ship. I feel uh, fairly confident that we can complete the ship and be ready for a launch in about five years. Five years seems like a long time to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, I, the, the area under the curve of, of resources over that period of time should enable this time frame to be met. Um, but if not this time frame, I think pretty soon thereafter. Uh, but that's, that's, our, that's our goal, is to try to um, make the 2022 uh, Mars Rendezvous. Um, um, the uh, 
Earth-Mars synchronization happens roughly every two years. So every two years, there's a, an opportunity for um, to, to fly to Mars. Uh, so then in 2024, uh, we want to try to fly four ships, uh, two of which would be crewed, and two, of which, two, two cargo and, and two, two crew. Um, the, the goal of, 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 the, uh, of these initial missions is to, is to find the best source of water. That's for the first mission. And then the second mission, the goal is to build the, the propellant plant. So we should, uh, with, particularly with six ships, there uh, have plenty of landed mass to construct the propellant depot, uh, which will consist of a large array of solar panels, very large array, um, and then everything necessary to mine and refine uh, water, and then draw the CO2 out of the atmosphere, uh, and then create and store uh, deep cryo CH4 and O2.